This is just a quick video clip that we're shooting for this Premiere Pro tutorial on speeding up video while maintaining the natural sound of your voice. And this effect works for both speeding up and slowing down the video. Uh, the only reason, of course, that we don't slow the video down in most cases is because it starts to make the video look choppy. But the uh, the audio portion of it remains the same, and you can use the same technique whether you're speeding up or slowing down. And I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Of course, this whole ridiculous bit. Hey, everybody, this is Nathaniel Dons from tutvid.com. Welcome into this Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial, where today we're going to talk about speeding your video up or slowing your video down and getting the voice or the audio in the video to sound normal and not go super fast or super drawn out and slow, you know, kind of like that. It's actually a pretty simple effect. Premiere Pro has some tools to offer. They have kind of an automated tool as well, which is, well, you'll see. Um, but in all likelihood, we're going to have to do this manually most of the time. Now, if you do enjoy this tutorial, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to this YouTube channel by hitting that button over there. Uh, subscribe so you never miss any video editing, Premiere Pro, After Effects, or other type tutorials in the future. Uh, well, let's uh, jump in and check this tutorial out right now. Okay, so here we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. I've got this video clip. I'm just, you know, <laughs> babbling into a microphone, just talking for the sake of talking to create something to work with. Let's do the slow it down uh, effect first. So what you do is right click on your clip and go speed duration and we'll slow it down uh, kind of a third of where it is or two thirds where it is. So we'll go 66%. Now notice this is the automation feature I mentioned a couple seconds ago. Maintain audio pitch. You can tick it on. I've noticed that it doesn't do a very good job at all. It tries, but it just doesn't really, it doesn't do it. So I'm going to hit OK, and now just take a listen to my voice. Uh, the only reason, of course, that we don't slow the video down in most... Kind of an epic, incredibly deep voice, but so deep that it's hard to understand what I'm saying. So let's come over here to effects, and we're going to search for an effect called pitch. Now when we do this, you're going to have, well, we don't care about the preset here. We care about the audio effects. Now there is an obsolete pitch shifter, which is still pretty good. There's the AU new pitch and AU pitch. And new pitch is not the greatest. I mean, it's okay. It's just super basic. And then AU pitch is pretty good. And then there's the new pitch shifter. So AU, that's like a third-party plugin, but it's included with Premiere Pro, so you should have it if you have the latest and greatest version of Premiere. Uh, and then a pitch shifter down here. This is the new pitch shifter that just everyone should have. The problem with this new pitch shifter, as you're going to see in a little bit when we speed this clip up, when I add it to a video clip, even without changing the pitch, it's going to knock your audio and your video out of sync. At least it does it to me. Um, so I'm not quite sure why that's happening. I have not been able to get an answer from Adobe or find any any articles or, or help forum related stuff online. So that's there's an interesting case of the desynchronization going on with the new pitch shifter. But all the others seem to work fine. Uh, so for this very deep uh, audio, we're going to go with the obsolete pitch shifter first. So I'll drag it, just drop it right on my audio track, uh, Premiere is going to say, look, you're adding an obsolete effect. Do you want to add the newer effect instead? To which I'm going to say, no, absolutely not. That new effect is not working for me. Now here in Pitch Shifter, I have the edit button to edit the custom setup, which is what we're going to go with. And uh, let's give this a listen. So I'm going to, I'm going to stop talking while I play with this stuff, but just a couple things. First we edit. I like to change the pitch and semitones first, and then I go and I fine tune it with these knobs. It's not, don't try to drag around in the circle, just simply drag left to push it back and drag right to pull it ahead. So it's pretty simple, no need to try to drag in a circle, just a simple left to right slider is exactly what it is. It's just not the most intuitive way to design something like this, but think of it as a slider and you'll be fine. Uh, so if we begin playing through this. Painting the natural sound of. Obviously my voice is too deep, so we need to increase the pitch. So we need to push this forward. We need to go plus, you know, two, three, four, five, whatever. So let's just do that. Your voice. And this effect works for both speeding up and... So there I am at plus seven, but it doesn't sound like a huge amount has changed. If anything, it just sounds like I'm, I'm an ape or something now when I'm talking. Your voice. And this effect works for... It's really, a really, really bad effect. But this down here, this format preserve, we want to check that off. And watch what happens when we check that off. Maintaining the natural sound of your voice. It's very close to being back to where my voice is. It just sounds like I'm really, really drunk. Uh, however... It's still not quite perfect, so we need to pitch, or I'm sorry, we need to change the fine tune here next to the pitch. I'm going to do that while I listen to it and see what I get. And this effect works for both speeding up and slowing down the video. Uh, the only reason, of course, that we don't slow the video down in most cases is because it starts to make the video look choppy. But the yeah, so something something in the high 40s that sounds good for this video clip. Uh, you might find something sounds better for your voice or the environmental sound you're working with. In general, though, when you slow the video clip down, something like plus seven semitones and maybe plus 40 to 50 in the fine tune department, it should bring back your audio and make it sound really nice and decently natural. 
considering the fact that you're slowing your video down to 66%. All right, let's select this clip. Let's delete it to get rid of it. Now we're back to our original audio, but I want to speed the video clip up. So let's right click, go back to speed duration, and let's set this to like 150%. I'm going to hit OK, and you can hear now, this is what I sound like. This is just a quick video clip that we're shooting for this Premiere Pro tutorial on speeding up video. One positively ridiculous. However, we can correct this. Let's first try the uh, the pitch shifter here with uh, Premiere Pro, the new pitch shifter. I'm going to select that. Let's go back to the beginning and just listen to the audio and watch my mouth at the same time. This is just a quick video clip that we're shooting for this Premiere Pro tutorial on speeding up video while... It's totally knocked out of sync. We haven't even changed anything in the pitch shifter. It's just knocking the whole thing out of sync. So I'm going to select that and trash that because it that's where it belongs. We're going to use the AU pitch here. So I'm going to drag this, drop it on the audio, and then I'm going to hit edit. And you're going to see we've got this kind of cool little interface that pops up. And the same thing with these knobs. You drag them left and right. You click and drag left and right to change. We're going to go with the pitch. We're going to mess around with the smoothness as well just to really make sure the ends and beginnings of words sound nice. Uh, and the tightness has a little bit to do with that as well. Uh, but let's just listen to this. Now my voice is much higher pitched. So what we have to do is deepen my voice to make it match the speed. So let's go and give this a shot. Video while maintaining the natural sound of your voice. And this effect works for both speeding up and slowing down the video. Uh, the only reason, of course, that we don't slow the video down in most cases is because it starts to make the video look choppy. But the uh, the audio portion of it remains the same, and you can use the same technique whether you're speeding up or slowing down. And I really hope you guys enjoy this tutorial. Of course, this whole ridiculous bit is just to give us some audio to play with when we were speeding and slowing down. By the way, Rode has given me a bunch of really awesome mics, so shout out to Rode for makers of the greatest microphone known to mankind. So there you go. Something like that. A negative 720 cents. And then effect blend 100%. We really don't want to turn that back. I increase the smoothness a little bit, drop the tightness back, and I get a nice pleasing. I'm, I'm speaking super fast here in this clip, but at least I could bring the tone and uh, sort of original sound of my voice back. So that's how you do that. Now, one quick thing I do want to point out here before we wrap this up. Let's say you do a lot of stuff where you're increasing your video to 150%, or maybe it's 133%, right? So we'll go speed duration. We'll change it to like 133%. There we go. Now my voice is going to sound too deep, of course. Speeding up video while maintaining. So we'd have to go back into the AU pitch. Let's listen to what's coming out of Premiere here. The natural sound of your voice. We need to make it a little bit uh, higher pitched. So let's, let me play it and listen. Voice. And this effect works for both speeding up and slowing down the video. Uh, the only reason, of course, that we don't slow the video down in most cases is because it starts to make the video look choppy. But the, uh, the so there we go. That would work for 133%. And if I'm doing this a lot, I would just select the effect over here in effect controls, right click, save the preset, and just call this like 133% uh, pitch correction or something like that. And then hit OK. And now in the future, anytime I go ahead and speed up a part of my video, I can apply that pitch correction and at least it will sound like my voice hasn't changed. Sometimes this effect can be useful if you need to pack, you know, you, you record for 35 seconds, but you need it to fit in a 30 second spot. So you need to speed it up a little bit. Go ahead, apply the speed up adjust the pitch and it should sound pretty decent. And one last thing before we wrap this up, I just want to show you that auto pitch correction. So we'll right click, go speed duration, and we'll uh, reduce this to like 66% and choose to maintain audio pitch. Premiere usually has to do a little bit of rendering, uh, but just listen to what it sounds like. Works for both speeding up and slowing down the video. Uh, the only reason... It almost sounds like I'm speaking through like this metal meat grinder type. I, I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of bizarre. We'll go speed duration. We'll try to speed it up to like 150%. Again, maintain audio pitch. Hit OK. It's going to have to do a little rendering again. It starts to make the video look choppy. But the, uh, the audio portion of it remains the same. And you can use the same technique whether you're speeding up or slowing down. And that sounds a lot better, but it still has like the, the the beginnings and ends of my words have sort of the, I don't know how to describe it. It's a very like techy, metally type sound. So I usually just end up going with uh, one of the pitch shifters and sadly the new pitch shifter from Premiere Pro just doesn't seem to cut it. So the AU pitch or the old sort of obsolete pitch shifter, they're usually the ones that I go to right away. I think about them first, uh, but for adjusting the pitch and the speed and everything in your video here, so you get a sped up or slowed down video but your voice or or even just the environmental sounds can sound normal with normal pitch and tone and all that good stuff. Guys, that's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, tutvid.com. I'll catch you in the next one. And before you go, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more great tutorials every day. Also, buy my course. It helps us do what we do. And this channel is supported by viewers just like you. You can also just click the thumbnail and watch another video from this channel. See you next time, guys.